Hello everybody, welcome to the channel. Today let's take a look at FSL 3.0 frame generation mod for a Plague Tale Requiem. And I'm doing this on my Steam Deck, Steam OS. I've been getting a lot of requests for this game. I think ever since I've been doing these FSL 3.0 mod videos. And I kind of understand why, because this game is really tough to run on the Steam Deck. I don't really play this game, so I'm not very far. I'm actually at the starting point, so... What I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the game without the mod and then I'm going to turn on the FSR 3.0 mod so you can see if there's any performance gains and then later in the video I'll show you back on my Steam Deck desktop mode how to install this mod. So I'm not going to test out every single location I'm you know I'm not familiar with this game so yeah you can do that if you like this game um, but I'm pretty sure you'll see a performance gain if I turn on the mod. So here's the game without the mod. I'll show you my settings. So settings for my graphics. It's on um, full screen. VSync off. Max frame rate unlimited. Screen resolution 1280 by 720. And then the resolution optimizer. Ultra quality. And then these are all just default. I just set the graphic preset to low. To low. Okay. And I've got my Steam OS on the latest stable release, which is 3.5.7. So this is the latest stable release as of recording. And I've got Cryo Utilities on. And it's on recommended settings, 4 gigabytes of VRAM. And on my Steam Deck performance tab, I just um, disabled frame limit. Everything else is like toggled off. And power tools. I've got SMT on, eight threads, and governor set to performance. So that's my settings. Okay, let's take a look at the game. So you get like 20 ish frames for this game. From what I've played, like the opening, the start, with these settings, you get like 20 ish frames, sometimes 30 if you look in the sky or something like that. But uh, mostly 20-ish. Yeah, so this game is like pretty good graphics. I didn't play the first one, so yeah, I didn't play this one either. But yeah, pretty good graphics overall. That's why it's hard to run on the Steam Deck with good performance. So I understand why this game has been requested a lot. Okay, this is more of a stealth game, I guess. Like from what I've played, I'm not sure if there's any action at, like afterwards, but um, I played a bit of it and yeah, mostly stealth. I'm not familiar with this game. Right, so I think you understand like what performance we're getting. So let me show you with the mod on. Okay, so I'm going to quit the game and I've already done the like file transfer in desktop mode i'll show you how to do that later but what i'm going to do now is i'm going to add the launch options so this toggles on the mod the winmm.dll okay so now i'm going to load the game with the mod on we should get a mod window this one yeah i think we got it yeah see we've got a different window here this is the mod. So it hooked up. It hooked up. And you'll see the difference in the settings. We get the um, NVIDIA DLSS option. Before we don't have that, if we don't have the mod on. Press A. A. Alright, now let's go to settings. And if we go to graphics see here before we didn't have this nvidia dlss super resolution 
So I'm going to turn it on to ultra quality. And you can see we got some like flickering, some glitching. That's normal. The mod is on. And I'm going to turn on frame generation. And then everything else is the same. So graphic preset is low. Okay. And then I'm going to go back to the save that I was at before. So you can compare. So you can see my FPS count is on the top left. All right. Before we we're getting like 20 ish frames, sometimes 30 without the mod. Now we've got the FSR 3.0 frame generation mod on. Let's see if we get any performance gains. You You're yeah, you can see we've got some like flickering, ghosting on the like subtitles. And we're getting a lot better performance. You're getting 40 ish, 50. Yeah, it feels a lot smoother too. But before, right. And what I like to do is, I actually like to turn off that HUD. I go to settings and I just go to um, language. So I turn off the subtitles. So I don't get that ghosting, that flickering. And then on HUD preset here, I just turn everything off. Enemy status indicator. Yeah, I might need that. I might need that. Companion in danger. Yeah, maybe I need. No. All right, let's turn this on. Okay. So I turned off most of the HUD. Oh yeah, it's pretty bad. So because we can still see that flickering. So I think the best way to do it. You know, if you're good at this game, <laughs> I guess. You can just turn off the the HUD, so uh, you don't see that flickering until we fix that ghosting. But yeah, a lot better performance with the FSR three frame generation mod on. Okay. Input lag. Let's see the input lag. No, I don't really. I'm not sure if it's me, like, or I just like people say there's input lag, like they can feel it. For me, maybe, maybe I'm just not sensitive enough for that. Like, I feel like it's responding to my buttons. I don't feel well, Matthias. I'm not going to go. It's whatever. Move. I'll handle it. That toolbox, it'll make a noise. It's the last time they'll come here. I tell you. You don't have to kill Steady. all of them, you lunatic. Just. <gasps> Is someone still hiding? But who are you? Let's be quick. So, like, I, I don't know, if you I turn off the HUD for this game, I think it's really good. But um, if you have the HUD on, because that flickering, it kind of annoys you. But yeah, I'm not really, like, I don't really play a lot of this game, so... Um, you guys let me know if you're a fan of this game. Let me know if you would prefer to play it this way. So yeah, I'll leave it here. So I think you've seen enough. So the mod I think is working pretty well. And I'll go back to desktop mode and I'll see you there. Okay, so before we go any further, I'd like to introduce you to the sponsor of today's video, which is me, Growing Up Cooking. Growing Up Cooking is a secondary channel of mine. It's dedicated to easy to make cooking recipes. So if you like gaming, you like cooking and you want to sponsor me, go over there and subscribe to the channel. I'll give you a sneak preview right now. Alright, we're gonna kill it. Are you ready? Oh, oh my god. Oh my god. Hello, thank you. 
Alright. Oh god, this put the sauce in. Woo! Mmm. So did you enjoy that? If you want to watch the full video, go over to Grown Up Cooking. Links in the description and subscribe to that channel. Welcome back to my Steam Deck's desktop mode. First thing you need to do, locate your game folder. I have mine right here. Go to the place where the exe is. So a plague tale for cream underscore x64.exe. It's right here. This is the folder where we want to put our mods, the mod files. So here's my mod files, Luke FC mods. I'm using the latest version as of recording, 0 0.7.5. Okay, and we're going to use this one, 212.zip. Okay, so make sure you extract all this into the game folder that I told you where the exe was. I already have it, so I'm going to override it. And also, you need to have this enable fake GPU.zip. So drag this over. To your game folder, I already have it, so I'm not going to drag it over. Uh, you might want to have this as well, this code, because uh, normally it just has this fake NVIDIA GPU equals true or false. Um, if you want this resolution override, I'll leave it in the description. You can copy that, put it in the file. Okay, so make sure you have this. If you have previous versions installed, you might have a file called um, the NVN one. So if you have the 0 0.74, Let's say you use this, the previous version. You have this file, nvngx.dll, and this underscore, nvngx.dll. If you have it in this game folder, make sure you delete it if you're using 0 0.7.5. So if you're using the later version, you don't need that anymore. So just delete those files. And that's it. That's it. You just um, open up your Steam. Go to library. Find your game. And then go to properties. All right, make sure in the launch options you have this wine DLL overrides equals win mm the command. This like launches the mod, the win mm.dll, which like starts the mod. So make sure you have this. And I'll also leave this in the description so you can copy it. Okay, and then we can run the game. So let's check it out in desktop mode. Okay, so yeah, you see that launch window? Yeah, it means that it's working and it works the same in gaming mode, so... This game, I think it didn't work previously. I tried on previous versions because it requires HAGS, Hardware Accelerated GPU Scheduling. And yeah, now the later versions of the mod don't require that anymore. So that's why it's working now. So that's good. Good for us. All right, let's go to settings and see if we still get that um, DLSS. Yeah, you can see it here. here. We've got the NVIDIA DLSS Super Resolution option. So we can turn on FSR 3.0. So I hope this video helped you out. If it did, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.